Hey everyone and welcome again to my YouTube channel and welcome 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 to my first first video of Tech Talk where I would generally talk about tech. So let's talk briefly on what RAM is. RAM is a component in your computer in which its storage area can be written or read from within the same amount of time. Basically what that means is your processor will use the information stored there by the program that is running for its quick use. It's also a volatile memory meaning that all data stored in there will be gone whenever you switch off your computer or whenever there is no power. So today we're going to talk about RAM. How much RAM do you actually need for your PC? Well, that depends on what you are using on your PC. Um, so this is going to be uh, my opinion on general usage of a PC on how much RAM do you actually need. Basically, the more you do on your PC or the heavier the application is or even the more in-depth the application is, uh, you basically need more RAM because it needs space to uh, store those files temporarily for them to use and if it doesn't have enough space your PC is going to get slower and slower and slower. So first we're going to talk about um, the budget rig where you have a certain amount of budget for your PC and uh, you don't have a lot of money for it but that's fine you can still use it. So. For example of a budget rate for me is a 4 gig RAM should be enough for you to do your daily work like internet browsing or any light video editing. Uh, you won't find it as fluid as more RAMs that you have. You're gonna be annoyed sooner or later so I don't recommend it for uh, video editing. You can get by with uh, casual games like uh, Facebook games or any other any other games that are like, less demanding than those new games that are on the market right now. With 4 gigs of RAM, you can still do um, basic office work like uh, Microsoft Excel or um, Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint or any other Microsoft Office applications that, that are out there. Next up is a build that is pretty standard nowadays from what I think um, which is 8 gigs. With 8 gigs you can continue playing games nowadays, there's no problem, you can play Battlefield 4 even though it says recommended 8 gigs, it doesn't mean that it's using all 8 gigs of your RAM. You can still record games while you're gaming but it won't be necessarily fast and I've experienced this myself, you won't um, you'll get different results um, depending on what processor you are using actually so 8 gigs nowadays is pretty standard you can get away with um, video editing it's going to be fluid just that it, when you start to put um, filters when you uh, start to adjust the colors the, uh, the noise you try to reduce the noise I've experienced this myself and it is annoying so yeah but I still do recommend this 8 gig build because just because of the sweet spot it, it is in so next up is the heavyweight build or some people might call it the enthusiast build 16 gigs is a lot uh, it can really help a lot with a lot of stuff you can your videos are your video editing is going to be much much smoother I'm glad that I've upgraded to 16 gigs even though my processor isn't that powerful we are way past the point of talking about games with uh, 16 gigs because games do not need 16 gigs you can get away with any game on the market right now with 16 gigs and last but not least is the build where I think it's pretty much overkill for a gaming PC but it's necessary for a workstation PC which is 32 gigs. That is a lot of RAM. You have a lot of RAM. 
RAM. With 32 gigs, you just eliminated everything that were existing before that was limiting your um, your PC. I know I said last but not least. I know there's more. Well, I've never experienced this much of RAM myself, so I didn't consider it to into my build time. And in this case, it's 64 gigs of RAM. With that much of RAM, you you're gonna it's gonna be really insane. But it's it's a great thing to look at, and it will be awesome. Just plain awesome. It it sounds a bit shallow, but it is. Well, for 64 gigs of RAM, if you think about it. If you are doing After Effects, Adobe Premiere, Adobe Photoshop, doing 3D modeling, you're doing the whole set of heavy applications and you're trying to squeeze all that into a PowerPoint, which is pretty basic. And while doing that, you're still recording all your actions into a, well, into an encoding, a video recording of your own desktop of uh, H.264 in full HD wow I guess you really need that much of RAM so I hope this video answers some of your questions so guys please don't really don't treat this video as one video uh, in the whole wide world because there's always other applications uh, or any uh, any other situations you can apply those RAM usage to and uh, if you don't like it you can always comment it if you don't agree on what i said this is my opinion but if you still want to say it out just put it on the comment section um, and as always if you like the video hit the like button if you dislike the video press the dislike and if you want you can comment on the comment section below and do not forget to subscribe to my channel because i will still have more videos coming all right thank you